Hey, welcome back. How's it going? As always, Nate Mumford, Director of Sales Engineering here over at RCS. Welcome to another RCS Live. As always, love having you here. And we're doing this, you know, Thursdays, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, talking about RCS, Zeta, G Selector, Acquira, uh, Revma, Zeta Cloud. And we have, you can see, some unique products on the horizon as well, introducing the brand new products we have coming out, including auto display and other little surprises that I cannot talk about just yet. But I thought today, it's been a while. Let's look at Zeta. If you're, let's say, a new user to Zeta or you're looking at new automation systems and you're kind of like, all right, what does Zeta offer? What does Zeta bring to the table? I thought we'd just do a little quick and brief overview of what Zeta can do uh, in a modern solution with customizable and flexible options for you as well. So we'll do that today. As always, don't forget, we're always looking for beta users. Um, and you can also check us on the road as well. We are going to be out and about. Uh, we have the CBI College Broadcasters. Uh, that's going to be in Orlando, Florida in a couple of weeks. I will be there. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to display, display. <laughs> we're going to premiere our audio display. That's going to be on October 26th at 11 a.m. Eastern time, our typical time. We're going to introduce audio display. You can already see some details now at audiodisplay.com. And then we have November 7th and 9th, the Casper Show. And the uh, 16th, 17th, we're going to be over in Alaska for the Alaska Broadcast Association. I will be there as well, hosting a bunch of sessions. Uh, we're going to do some RCS Academy. We're going to do some uh, cool stuff with uh, talking about, I believe, everything from cloud to AI to everything in between as well over at the Alaskan Broadcasters. And if there's somewhere you want us to be, uh, you can always reach out to marketing at rcsworks.com or email myself or whoever your local RCS rep is. We'll get you in touch over there. And we'll uh, talk about whatever you want to talk about. That's the beauty of some of these RCS lives, right? And as always, I do have my chat open as well. So if you have questions for me, uh, feel free to check in. Ooh, hello, Mark. How's it going, Mark? Yes. Hello, Di. How's it going? And all that stuff. So thank you for checking in, everybody. We love this stuff. So uh, I thought for today we would kind of talk about just an aerial overview of Zeta right? And all of the really cool things you can do inside the software. You'll hear me say a lot of times, modern, customizable, and flexible. And what do we mean by some of those? We really start to introduce some of these modern workflows. The idea that we're sitting in one single chair doing multiple tasks on multiple different stations. The idea here is to maximize your time and energy to make you more efficient, right? That's the idea here. So the first thing is we look at Zeta. We're talking about modules. Everything is modules inside of Zeta. So you can see here from the very top, we have my on-air module, the log in the bottom left, the library here in the bottom right. I could take something like my hotkeys, left-click it, and notice how I can move these up, down, left, or right. And for those advanced users, hit the control key, and you can see that module docking will disappear right there too. But if I go ahead and left-click this, it will dock it to the right. This is an entire grid that we can save per user if we wanted to. I can also left click that header, put it in the center, and I have these two tabs side by side if I wanted to. Now here's the beauty about customizing your Zeta experience. You wanna see more elements in the on-air module? Bring it down. Save your layout, it will always look like this. You wanna see less, bring it up. You can see less if you wanted to. Now there's some users who don't want all the bells and whistles. They want a very simple layout. And Zeta can deliver that. We can essentially take profiles, make them complex, make them simple, 
and we can lock it for some of those users as well, those weekenders or the ones that just don't need all the bells and whistles. And the key thing there is you can lock it, right? And part of the beauty with Zeta is that we also have this detached play out over here on the right hand side. Now, one of the things that we have in our archive over here, and we found my uh, my captions here. Don't forget about the archive, uh, rcsworks.com slash rcs dash live. Um, that's a great resource for all of our past videos. And there's some great ones on there, Topography and Configuration with Jeff Ziegler. Um, that was a phenomenal one talking about Zeta Vocabulary. And these are all free resources for you. So if you want to fill in some of these gaps or you're curious, you want to see more videos about how Zeta can really make you more efficient, that's the URL right there, rcsworks.com slash rcs-live. Great, great resource. Um, there's a lot of videos there. I'll be the first one to tell you. So if you're curious about like, hey, Nate, I'm looking for this topic or whatever it is, always reach out, as I said, right? That could be, again, through me, through your RCS contact, support, whoever it is. We'll get you in touch with the right videos. In fact, if you go to the blog section of rcsworks.com, each one of these videos has a written blog attached to it. So you can think, okay, well, Zeta splits. What are Zeta splits? You can read about it first. And if that sparks your interest, you can then go online and watch more of that video there too. So in regards to that detached play out, what that means is everything in Zeta has built in services, right? Much more reliability, stability, and security in the cyber world. And what that does essentially is you define what machine is in charge of playing that particular station. It's a very, very modern uh, workflow there. And the best part is, that you can then close G selector, reopen G selector, switch your layouts, if you will, and you're never going off the air because Zeta is actually running behind the scenes, right? A modern solution for you. Now, on top of that, it's also an enterprise solution. I can have all these stations in here. So again, that one user, right, in one chair accessing multiple stations, I can switch to my classic rock and look at that. There's my classic rock station. So let's pretend we have a hot AC and a classic rock, and it's a Sunday night, the last man or woman standing. We want to make sure we see a snapshot of everything we have. Well, in that case, I'll just go to my layouts here. In the very bottom, I have an RCS Live side-by-side -side layout. I'm going to switch over to that one. Again, I'm not going to affect any of the on-air playout because of those services behind the scenes. And now you can see here, I have my two stations side by side. I can see my RCS Hot AC. I can see my Classic Rock. I can be in my production room if I wanted to, and I can utilize some of these features and tools here if I wanted to. That's really, really cool. And again, if I'm done, I don't need to look at both these stations, jump back to the layout, go over here, jump back to my simple Hot AC, and just like that, I'm back to where I was originally in my Zeta layout, right? It's really, really cool. So talking about customizing this to your workflows, different types of Zeta features. We have the logs modules. Again, no restrictions on, if you look at the top right, there's all our stations, and these are my date ranges. Notice how I scheduled out the 31st because there's no restrictions on dates, right? And so then from there, I can go, I'm telling all my users right now, there's nothing stopping you from working on Christmas logs, right? Very briefly, I have the mini logs over here. I can build my year-end countdown. I can build in my Christmas logs. I can send it. I can voice track it. I can have that done by Thanksgiving here in the States if I wanted to. Really cool stuff there. Uh, all this is customizable. Right-click on here, insert. This is just some of the information you can include in any of these fields. Like, for example, I always love to put in the last modified or date created for those news, traffic, and weather forecasts. Make sure that they're there and they're updated. Uh, same thing applies to here in the library. Right-click and insert. All those same fields are there over here too as well. Look at the actual songs here to put some actual data in there for you. You can see there, same exact ones, right? Really cool stuff there. Uh, in addition to that, in the, um, the logs module over here, everything here is, again, as I say, customizable. We can filter this by the user. So, for example, maybe you're a voice tracker, right? And you just want to see only the voice tracks in the song, something like that. You can really care that experience. Uh, everything here is completely voice trackable and segue edited. So I can click on the little record button right here, 
and I can go and there's my voice track right here. I'm gonna hit record right now. And if you notice, oh, Nate, um, you started recording. Well, you've seen my past videos on this. I always say, let's work smarter, not harder. So I'm gonna do a um, three, two, one. Hey, what's up? It is Nate. We're here for WRCS FM's uh, RCS Live with Shallow, and this is Peaches on WRCS FM. And uh, oh, I forgot to hit stop. Eh, okay, oh, let's stop there. Now I'm going to zoom out using my cursor. Look right where my cursor is. Go zoom in, zoom out. I can use the progress bar here as well. Uh, you and I both know the one, two, three here. My level's a little low there, but I'll deal with that. And I can just right click and say, "Hey, I'm going to right click on this, set the trim in, gone." Right. Go over here, right click, set the trim out, gone. Take over here, move it nice and neat, something like this. Notice the dynamic features here. We have ducking enabled right now. Uh, shout out to auto ducking in Australia. Uh, and then uh, from there, if you, let's say you want it, you can always right click it and just turn it off if you wanted to or keep it disabled, your choice. But notice how it's dynamic here, working with you, not against you. And I can save this right here. There's my voice track all ready to go. And of course, let's say I mess up the middle portion. It's like halfway through and I want to just get rid of one little phrase there. I can right click on this. And of course, oh yeah, sure enough, Zeta has a single and a multi-track editor built inside. So I can take this, delete that middle portion, and I can save my heads and tails again and fix that transition. No, I'm not going to save my changes. No, I'm not going to save my voice track transition. It's just a very modern easy, flexible, you know, way to voice track your station. Again, working smarter, not harder, trim in, trim out. And then of course, from there, you know, doing your single or multi-track editor as well. Uh, I'm going to jump over here to my client side search. This is my library. I'm moving quick for time purposes, but if you have any questions or certain topics you want to show, I do have my chat open here as well. Cause as we know, Zeta is our favorite, right? Right. Exactly. And so what we can do here is I can filter this any way I want. I can sort A to Z, click it again, Z to A. I can go my filter and type in Beyonce here if I wanted to. Boom, there's Beyonce records. I can also go and say, show me only a category B. And there's my category B if I wanted to. I can go and say, show me the alternative uh, category or the sound code. Boom, done. Very easy, flexible. And of course, if I want to add this song, just a left click and look at that. There's that little blue line there. Any of these modules all throughout Zeta, left click, drag and drop. Again, I'm moving quick here for time purposes, but I can take my multi-track editor, again, from the same chair, multiple stations, doing an on-air roll, switching to a production roll. I gotta take this 30 here, drag it over, take this 30 here, drag it over, go over here and do a tag. I can't do my usual demo tag because for copyright purposes, so I'll say, don't forget to check us out over at wrcsfm.com. Boom, there's my tag. I can save this inside of Zeta, outside of Zeta, or as a project, like a weekly concert or community calendar, I need a reference later. Notice how I'm starting to take all these little pieces and combine them into one. So I am sitting on the air. I do my 45 break. I got 10 minutes to kill. Hey, let's switch over to multi-track editor. Let's update our concert calendar or community calendar. Let's save it. Then we drag in the log. Super quick, super easy. And that's really, really helpful tool for you as well, right? And then, of course, let's talk about for a second about adding songs. And Mark, of course, was right ahead of me as always, Mark. We're going to say how to, you know, uh, have songs not being able to play in the wrong database. Now we'll say, you know, station versus database, but I got you. And so what we do here is let's talk about adding a song. I'm going to just double click on this one right here. And let's go up my metadata cart, make it nice and big. And what are we looking at here? And I have a great video again on our archive over at what? Uh, rcsworks.com slash rcs dash live. That's how to add a song in G Selector. There's also one for, um, sorry, Zeta and G Selector as well. And in Zeta, there's multiple ways that we can add elements inside of Zeta. We can always go over here and burn it from a CD. We can find it via Windows Explorer. We can drag and drop it into Zeta. We can do a mass importer. We can do an auto load all those great tools. And the beauty about Zeta is again, modern and flexible. We can take Wave, MP3, uh, FLAC files, AEC files, ingest them into Zeta, and we save a non-destructive copy 
of that piece of audio. Watch this. I'm going to click right here, my marker. See that? I'm going to click over here on the trim in. There's my new trim in point. All of the processing is done within Zeta itself, right? It is non-destructive processing. And if you notice, we don't go here and delete the audio. We say that's the new trim in marker. So if we have, let's say, I want to increase the uh, the song by 3%, we can do that inside of Zeta. It's a quick little setting. And then after a month, ah, that experiment didn't work as well as I wanted to. Bring it back down to zero. Guess what? All of our music is safe and sound. Non-destructive audio. So we take those Wave AAC MP3 files, bring them into Zeta, save them as typically a wave file by a default audio format. And then we even do a marks analysis if you want to, which is we can set the trim in, trim out, segue points automatically inside of Zeta. In addition to that, we can also do a station specific normalization. So when we have a lot of cooks in the kitchen from multiple different sources and destinations, notice the output is all consistent across the board. So now we're talking about, okay, well, I have an auto load MP3. I have a, I'm going to add a wave file, but my normalization level is negative three. Mark is going to add his AAC file. His normalization levels are zero, right? It's all going to be saved and played out the same with non-destructive behavior inside of Zeta, which is awesome. And then the left-hand side, these check marks here, that means it's active or not active, right? Active or not active. That's the idea there. If it is not active on a station, then you can essentially not play that asset anywhere. Not in the hotkeys, not in the on-air module, not in the log. It will queue up in the log and it will tell you that, hey, I'm not active. But you can uh, never play anything that's not allowed to play inside the Zeta world. So very, very flexible. Oh, and by the way, if only... There was a live log integration with G Selector, our music scheduler as well. So when I add that brand new asset and I put a title in the artist, in the category, in the mood, in the energy, the tempo, and all these custom attributes, they're also copied over to G Selector. In case you didn't hear me whispering, they're also copied over to G Selector live in real time. So your ASCAP BMI sound exchange reporting, reconciliation is done live in real time. Boom, no extra work for you. You're adding a song in once, you're putting the attributes in once, and of course you're reconciling and reporting once across the board. Again, modern delivery mechanisms here inside of Zeta, uh, a phenomenal uh, solution for you and your team for the automation spectrum. Now, um, we have of course everything we can show for this short video, hot keys in here, both audio and non-audio triggers, the multi-track editor we briefly showed on, there's all these additional modules here, like the audition and the, uh, let's see here, the clocks or the notes or the Z player and the stacks. We don't have time for that for the short video. But, you know, hey, we're too busy because we're working uh, remotely over here as well. Let's go jump to our remote capabilities and look at Zeta to go over here. So you can see, boom, there is my URL. It's just your Zeta to go service or your C uh, Zeta server slash Zeta to go. So Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Edge, your tablet, your iPhone, your Android. Obviously, the laptop's the best experience because it's going to give you all those great audio um, uh, input outputs as well as a larger screen size. But yeah, we can do a quick little thing on your iPhone. Totally done. On your Android, to be fair, too. Uh, again, works on modules. I have four modules open here. On air, hotkeys, logs, and my voice track module. There's also, in addition to that, the library in the system monitor to see how your stations are doing. I always tell users, this is made to enhance, not replace the Zeta experience, right? So, for example, controlling the on-air product, hotkeys, find them live across the air, live in real time, adjusting and viewing the log, voice tracking, adding songs and other elements, seeing a snapshot of your station, your databases. That's all done over here in Zeta to go. The multi-track editor, those are modules that are saved for the Zeta client. And so, yes, that's why I say made to enhance, not replace the Zeta experience. But this is super powerful. We got users who essentially want to save production rooms, right? So, hey, I need to go and add a song quickly on the fly. I'm a production director or a program director at my desk. The production director's in the studio. Oh, hey, uh, Di, are you off? Uh, are you done yet? When are you taking a lunch break? I need to add a song. No, 
use Zeta to go as a floating production studio so the PD at his desk can go and log in as Zeta to go. Now he's in the office, so he doesn't need a VPN. Outside the office, you need a VPN for security purposes. But I can go there in the office, connect to Zeta to go, add my song, hit save, done, right? We have a lot of users looking at kind of tapping into floating um, Zeta to go production rooms type of thing, right? And again, remember, just double check, enhance, not replace. So there's certain things that we wanna make sure we, we talk about there. But again, everyday usage, this is perfect for you as well. You're on a remote, you're broadcasting live at a morning show diner, and uh, all of a sudden you have full control over the on-air station. Now I'm gonna just kind of shrink this just for one quick second. You'll see this kind of uh, you know toggle with me here. And I'll have live assist, live assist. I'm gonna put this in manual here. Notice it's back in manual. I hit stop over here. It stops, it goes away, right? Now I can control this. Oh, wait a second, I'm off the air. It's 11 o'clock at night, nowhere to go anywhere. Boom, I can do right here. Hey, look, I'm in manual. Oh, fire that, back in live assist, done. Just like that, right? I can go over here to one of these songs over here and just say, let me go to my home screen here. That's the auto scroll home. I'm going to switch this over here and show you the system monitor for a second because I have that queued up automatically. And uh, let's go over here. It's just for, you know, you can tell I'm working a small window here. There is a little skip option here. I don't want the song TLC, right? Or I'm going to do the sweeper instead. I'm going to skip this. Look, boom. That's going to skip her. That's that, done, right? Hey, the mayor's coming in. Uh, yeah, let's skip this element. We're not, we don't have to worry about it, right? Let's skip it so that the users later on can see that I skipped that song. I didn't delete it. I skipped it for viewing purposes. And then I can go back here and say, oh, you know what? The mayor's busy. Put it back in. Uncheck it. Back in the log just like that live in real time. Zeta to go. Remote companion to Zeta. Super, super powerful there as well. Um, and Jeff was saying, yes. Thank you, Jeff. Always there for me, Jeff. Uh, since it's football season, you know, you can do Zeta to go and work well by running the ball game from the field. We have a lot of users that do utilize Zeta to go remotely. Um, now, again, VPN access. Some users don't want to get VPN access to. So what you can do in Jeff's example there, have a laptop with an embedded VPN. Just hit connect with the save password. Have a little USB interface like that guy over there. Have a decent mic. You can do a play-by-play -play on a game, any sporting event, just like that if you wanted to. So really, really powerful stuff. And of course, as we keep going, we talk about these new products as well. Don't forget about Zeta Cloud-based disaster recovery. That's in the mix as well, taking all of your audio, your backups, and you can continue to broadcast live remotely with Zeta Cloud that has an encoder built into it with a URL. And again, all of your assets, your backups are saved to Zeta Cloud too. So really, really cool and helpful modern solutions here. So I'll do last call here for questions in case you have anything I wanted to clarify there. But again, let's just summarize. You know, when I say things like modern, customizable, flexible solution, right? For radio automation software. We have enterprise anywhere here in Zeta, one chair, multiple stations, multiple roles, all from right here, right? I have modules all across the board. We have a detached play out so I can close, reopen. I can switch layouts, never affecting the on air play out here. It's a very, very powerful tool. We can customize the logs, customize the library, easy left click, drag and drop. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this right here is a dynamic on air sequencer. Some other systems will very kind of politely hint that, oh, if it's queued up in here in the queue, uh, you can't really touch it. You can't really touch it. Some things happen. There's some weird behaviors. I have voice tracked out of heat waves with 30 seconds left to go. Now, would you do that? Absolutely not. You would not do that. That's a bad idea. But it's good to know you can, and you can do that with Zeta as well. So, and of course, we talked about the way to customize it and flexible. Again, the flexible user, as well as to customize this and tailor it to each user, their settings, their colors. You can see I have dark mode on here right now, but we also have light mode and our metal mode. You can see I have some color formatting here on my sound codes, uh, as well as here as well. So all my songs are blue, some sweepers are yellow, uh, green for the spots, and you can customize those colors any way you want. If only there were more videos, somewhere where you can go, Nate, to go look at all of these past videos in more detail. Oh, wait, 
There is rcsworks.com slash rcs dash live. There's videos on appearances. There's videos in the multi-track editor. There's a deep dive in Zeta to go. There's Zeta cloud-based disaster recovery videos there as well. All of that good stuff is available for you over at rcsworks.com slash rcs dash live. And if you go to the blog section, each one of these videos also has individual write-ups on them as well. And so you can really do that too, right? Right, Rob? Makes sense? Thank you, Rob. I appreciate checking in as well. So, hey, listen, I'll see you uh, in a bit. Uh, let me do one last thing. Just kind of go back here to my, don't forget, audio display. Go to premiere that as well. That will be on our archive. Check that out. Really excited about that. I'm going to purposely not tell you about it and do a little teaser for you too. But coming on the pipeline, audio display and other brand new RCS products. That's coming on the pipeline very shortly. And I will see you for uh, next Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern time for another RCS Live. Thank you so much. Have a great day.